Hi guys, my name is Valerie and this is a channel about America. In this video, I want to share with you my thoughts regarding the education in the United States, why do I think it is not that difficult to study in America, and I'm gonna share my personal experience from a community college which I attended in Seattle. So we're gonna talk mostly here about colleges. Uh, so if you're considering studying in the United States but you're still worried that it might be way too difficult for you, keep on watching. I'll tell you why it is not that difficult as you might think. So let's start here from the beginning. The first reason why I think that it is not that difficult and that it is not that complicated to attend a community college even if you're coming from abroad and even if your English is not that great is that uh, there are different people of different ages attending a community college. So in a one classroom you might see a 16 years old uh, student and 65 years old student. You can notice that gap uh, in the age and based on that I think that the program in community colleges, uh, all programs in community colleges are pretty uh, simple, clear, structured. So anyone with different background would get. Even if you are someone who already has two uh, bachelor degrees and want to get another education or if you are a professional worker and I don't know you already have your MBA and also you are a student who just graduated from a high school you're still gonna attend the same class and you're still gonna have the same assignments. So those assignments are not that difficult because anyone can actually get it, anyone can understand it. But honestly, just think about it. All tasks and assignments are built so easy, so 16 years old student won't get confused as well as a 65 years old student. The second reason why I think that it is not that difficult to study in a community college is that degrees and programs in colleges are not that complicated because if we're talking about a university to get a, to finish a bachelor degree you have to attend a university for two for four years i'm sorry for four years and programs there might be a little bit more difficult uh, in colleges you might find the same program as at a university for example accounting right you can study accounting in a college and you can study accounting at a university but at a university there will be more difficult classes which you would need to attend. That's why there is a pathway program where you study at a community college first and after you transfer to university. So basically during those two years at college uh, when you study accounting you uh, would take like the easiest classes from this uh, program and after when you transfer to university you're gonna get like more complicated and more difficult classes over there. When I was going to a college and I was attending digital marketing program, honestly, I did not have anything like super crazy and difficult and my program uh, did have some IT um, classes and had some programming classes which I never did before. I've never done programming before in my life, but they were super easily structured they were not that difficult and complicated and i um didn't have like 10 classes per day it was so easy and smooth and homework was not complicated at all so even if you start starting something from scratch like you've never dealt with that before trust me in a community college it won't be that difficult it won't another reason why i would say it is not that difficult to study in a community college is that your teachers your professors they are not that demanding i would say um i don't know when I used to go to a university in my home country, uh, they wanted to see perfection. Like everything had to be done perfectly, like 10 out of 10. Here it's a little bit easier, I guess. All professors, they just want to hear your opinion. You don't have to say exact thing which was written in a book, especially if we're talking about like some social subjects. Of course, if we're talking about accounting, yeah, the professor would want to hear exact the same thing which uh, was written in a book but when it is some um, social programs uh, 
you're just free to share your idea and uh, no one's gonna be mad at you if you're saying something wrong because everyone has their own different opinions also when we talk about homework it's never something extremely crazy where you would have to read 10 articles and write a review it would never happen to me while I was going to a community college and it did happen to me a million times when I was going to a university that's why again if you're thinking about studying in America and you're thinking about getting a bachelor degree I would recommend to start from community college first so you can attend two years there enough to transfer to university that's gonna be way easier especially if you've never been in the United States before and you're a little bit worried about English or something like that another interesting fact which I noticed is that your grammar mistakes might not influence your grades at all so even if you make some grammar mistakes some teachers would not care another thing which also makes everything insanely easier is that lots of tests you can pass at home you sit at home you have your laptop you have wi-fi connection you have all books around you you have a bunch of groups of people and friends standing behind your back helping you to pass the assignment just like that and it's not just like regular assignment sometimes it even like an exam the teacher gives you a chance to do it at home and you're staying at home and you're taking your exam while you're home you're not that stressed you're not that nervous you just sitting on your couch and maybe sometimes you do open a uh, laptop with a wi-fi but i'm not giving you those advices please forget it erase it from your memory you did not see it in this channel we are talking here about education and how important it is to get an education and be smart and get a good job another thing which makes the educational process is a little bit easier here are extra credits what it is so for example during the course during the class you can get 100 points for like all program yeah and you know uh, how many points you're gonna get for each assignment you do for each project you submit for each exam you take so it total comes up to 100 points and if you get those 100 points you get four a GPA uh, but but most of the classes they have extra credits which means that for example you missed a project you did not submit something on time you did not participate in some discussion so now you're kind of missing those points and you would not get those hundred points at the end of the program that's why they give you a chance to get extra points which are not included in those hundred points read an article and write a review about the article uh, I don't know do some extra project to, for any other class that's why if you do miss something or you know that you failed your exam a little bit you still can catch up you can add additional assignment and you can gain those points back and another thing which was actually super surprising for me is that you do not study a lot a lot, a lot of hours uh, during week or during a day uh, usually you attend one or two classes per day maybe three classes per day when like one hour per each class so like three hours per day and the rest of the day is your off time you can go home and do assignment and trust me you're gonna have enough time to do those uh, homework and your assignments and I uh, I used to have quarters where when I would attend colleges just like college just like two times per week Tuesday and Thursday and the rest of the days were like off so I could just do my homework so it's not that difficult the um, assignments are not that difficult and you do not uh, spend lots of time doing that doing that that's why if, you, if you're still debating if you still do not have a faith in yourself and you think that you won't be able to do that trust me you will once you come there once you get used to how everything works you'll catch up easily I personally think that education in Europe is way more complicated than in the United States uh, but I do need to give them a credit that they actually have a very good practical knowledge uh, so if like in my country we used to have lots of theories which you would not know how to apply to nowadays situations in the United States it's a little bit different and they actually give you lots of practice practice and practice and I like it so this is, was my video about why studying the uh, United States in a community college is not that difficult as you might think uh, please share any of your thoughts in the comments below this video if you like the video go ahead and click the like button and as always I wish you guys have a good day or a good night bye